hello and welcome to the first game of week four here in the Accolade Slugging Association. Today we have the Monarchs and the Eggs going head to head. The best record in the league versus the worst record. Leading off here, Birdo gonna charge. Watch that one. Yellow Madge has been pretty solid at starting pitcher for the Eggs. Of course, this first half of week four is all of our matchups from opening night being run again. Last time these two played, Critter walked it off on daytime DK jungle, so we'll see how nighttime works. This one's high into the corner. I don't think anyone's getting there. This is going to be another leadoff home run for Birdo. She's done that in each of their past three games. Dark Horse MVP candidate is Birdo. Here's Pink Yoshi now, looking to continue the momentum. That'll be a strike, and I'm going to mute really quick, sorry. As this one's driven down the line for a base hit, Pink Yoshi will be on first. Monarchs coming out swinging, got some momentum now. Flensy up to bat to be followed by Peach, who will be using error items. We're gonna have fireballs here, Flensy will watch it though. Checking up on Pink Yoshi there, he's quick enough to be able to get back to base, so... No concerns there, here's a slap. Boos will be used, they don't really matter, and we have runners on first and second. Not the most beautiful slap you've ever seen, but just enough to get past the infield. Peach now up to bat. She's been suspect offensively this season. We'll see if she can get something started here, though. Here's the charge. This one's deep to the corner, and it will run foul. So two strikes now on Peach. Potential for a strike out. And she will strike out. Yellow Magic Koopa picks up a K right there. If you're the Monarch, so you've got to be feeling okay about that at least, because Peach has been known to hit into double plays, and at least you only walk away with one out there. Here's a slap hit. Will be over the head of the infields. Uh, Koopa misses it there! And that's going to bring Pink Yoshi home. It's 2-0 Monarchs in the top of the first. Koopa, DPOI candidate, almost an all-star, misses the ball there. And Grey Bones, another RBI. Monarch's off to an early lead. See if they can continue to push it. Here's face. He'll charge. Watch that for a ball. Another charge from face. He'll swing and miss, most likely. Yes, there it is. Did not follow the ball like he probably should have. Here's a slap, though. And it's going to be another base hit that will bring home Flency. 3-0 now, Monarchs. What a start for the Monarchs. King Boo now up to bat. Potential for a three-run shot. He hasn't been crazy offensively this season, but just needs a chance. This one's down the line, and that will bring home Grey Bones. Alright, another RBI, and it's 4-0 Monarchs. All right, green guy now. Gonna slap, this should be a double play. And it will, that will get them out of the inning, but already four points given up. The Eggs need something offensively now. As Yoshi steps up to the bat, to, to, the, to, the, to the plate rather, to the bat. No, he's holding the bat. Steps up to the plate to bat. Will swing and miss there. Birdo with the potential to also pick up a K here. Will not, though. This one's slapped right over the head of Green Shy Guy. And Yoshi will get on base. The Yoshis have been solid so far in this game. The two that we see in play as Link steps up. See what he can get done here at the plate. Here's another slap right up the middle. They're not able to get there. And it's going to be a base hit. Link on first. Yoshi on second. Two quick runners out there. Here's Critter can cut it to a one-point lead with a signature critter shot here. Currently second in the league in home runs. Watches two solid pitches there for strikes and instead is going to settle for a strikeout. <laughs> That's a reverse K. Doesn't even swing at it and critter strikes out at Birdo's hand. Here's a star pitch. What is going on with these pitches, man?
Here's a slap hit from K. Rule. Will load the bases. Looking to bring Yoshi home too and will. Alright, the eggs will not go down without a fight. There's one run on the board. Here's Paratroopa. Gotta be careful not to slap it into a double play. And he just might. He does. One point there scored for the eggs, so a little bit of damage control, but you need more. You need to get back into this game as we're about to wrap the top of the lineup here for the Monarchs. Inkling up to bat has been pretty solid for this team ever since getting playing time. Came off the bench for the beginning of the year, but finally proving that she deserves to play some. Here's another charge. This one will go straight to Spectro. Another All-Star nominee did not quite get the nod, but speaking of All-Stars, Birdo up to the plate. Not even just All-Stars MVP candidates, but Critter will grab this one. So not able to repeat her success at the plate. Now here's Pink Yoshi. Will charge. Will swing and not a great one, but Spectro bobbles it and that will allow Pink Yoshi on base. Here's Flenzy now. After getting bailed out by Spectro, we'll see if they can do anything with this. Looks like no. Yeah, Spectro makes up for his mistake. Gets them out of the inning there. We're moving to the bottom of the second. A three-run deficit now for the Monarchs. Or for the Eggs, rather. Three-run lead for the Monarchs. Koopa now up to bat. Defensive player of the year candidate. Hasn't been insane offensively, but has been able to get the job done on several occasions. Looks to do it again. This should drop. And it will, right by that flower. Of course, on the night jungle, those flowers do not stun you like they do in day. Nighttime, they actually speed up the outfielders. Here's Dark Bones. We'll watch that for a strike. Here's a slap. Will be dove and caught by Green Guy, who turns a double play. Huge defensive play there from Green Guy. Yellow Magic Koopa now has probably been the best Magic Koopa in the league so far this season. We'll see if that momentum can continue now. And it will be a slap it right at the middle. That's going to get Yellow Magic Koopa on base to be followed by Spectro, I believe. Yes, there he is. Again, has not quite been great offensively, but part of the egg's great defense. Yeah, that fireball just missing green guy. Will end the inning zeros. For the entire second inning now, Monarchs still lead it by three. Here is Peach to bat. Will swing and miss at that one, that's a strike. Let's see in a minute. Okay, I'm just making sure I was recording. I am. Second pitch now for Peach. This will be a slap hit right to Spectro, who will make an excellent diving catch there. Good play from Spectro. So Peach, yet to even have a ball drop and hit the ground yet. No ground outs, no nothing. Strike out and then caught out. This one's high and deep. They should get there though. And Koopa boosting Link up there. That's why he's in that defensive player of the year race. The only fielder to be in it, as far as I can recall. That could be false information, but I believe he is. And for a reason, another swing and miss. We've seen a lot of those this game. Very uncharacteristic, as this one's drilled to right field. Link should grab that, and does. So another zero there for the Monarchs. The Eggs threatening now with the top of their lineup. This is where they score a lot of their points, so it starts with Yoshi. See if he can get on base here. He'll slap, and that should be caught. It's not. Inkling dives too early. Will not be able to grab it. And Yoshi on first base. Link now has not been what this team has been looking for. And that trend will continue as he gets a fly, or a, 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 sorry, a line drive straight up to right field there that Peach will grab. Critter now up to base. Can he avenge himself? Will charge. Will put this one high and deep. No one's getting there. See a ball. That one's gone. Critter. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's automatic. He gets one every game. It's it's really just incredible. 4-3 to three now. Eggs clawing themselves back into this game. K. Rule now threatening to tie up the game. Here's a charge. Won't swing at it, though. This 
Swing and a miss for K. Rule. There's two strikes. Got to be careful now. Here's a charge. We'll swing and connect. This one will fly foul, though. Fouls it off and stays alive. See if he can get a better look at this next one. He will elect to slap it again, and it should drop. It does. He barely gets to first base. K. Rule, not a fast guy. Here's Paratroopa now. Of course, hit a double play last time. Looking to avoid that this time. That's a slap, and it should also cause a double play. Paratroopa. Paratroopa's not been great on offense so far this game. Not what the eggs needed. As the Monarchs step back up to the plate, King Boo to lead off. He'll slap, should be caught by Critter, and is. Excellent diving catch, just what you'd expect from the MVP frontrunner. Here's Green Guy. Has done some damage on the defensive side of things, but looking to get started offensively here. Slap right to Critter, and he's going to pick up another one. Inkling now, stepping up to the plate. Gonna look to slap Will, and it's right to Critter for the third out of the inning. We move to the bottom of the fourth now, still 4-3. Monarchs lead it by one. See what the eggs can do. You are running out of time if you're the eggs to make something happen, so we'll see if they can. This is drilled down to left field. Yoshi's so fast, though. We'll get to that ball. Dark Bones. Going to slap. This one's high, but will drop. Yoshi not quite quick enough to get there. Dark Bones on first. It's Yellow Magic Koopa. Of course, had a slap hit to get on base the last time at bat. Will charge, but doesn't swing there. Does have one home run on the season. Could tack on another here. That's two strikes. And a star for Birdo. Will not be used, though. Slapped. That'll be a double play. Right to Inkling there. So still 4-3 as we move into the fifth inning. The makings of what could be an upset. Here's Birdo up to bat again. Charging. Puts this one high and deep. No one's getting there. Unless Koopa. Koopa sprinting. It's right past Link. Two home runs in this game for Birdo. What an excellent game for Birdo. Who's really just turned it on this second half of the season. Here's Pink Yoshi. Real slap hit. That's right up the middle. And the Earthquake stops Koopa from getting that ball. Will lead Pink Yoshi to second base with no outs. Gotta be careful of hitting a ball. Hitting the ball, rather, to either of the infielders here. Will cause a double play. As this one's down the line, will fall foul, though. No charge here. This will be a slap. Right past Spectro. Advances Pink Yoshi to scoring position. Monarch's looking to take yet another three-run lead. It's at two now. Peach, though, up to bat. Hasn't been a great look for this team so far. As they check on the third base runner. Maybe anticipating a squeeze bunt or something of the sort. Not going to get it, though. Peach, this one's deep. Should be a base hit right when they need it. And it is. Could score Flenzy, too. It will not. They do get there in time. But a three-run lead and zero outs for the Monarchs. So the Eggs, after starting 6-0, could be on the makings of a two-game skid. As Bone sends this one high and deep, it will be a sack fly, though. That also burns Koopa, so absolutely no way they're stopping Flensy there. It's now a four-run lead. Yoshi... Tired on the plate. They need another answer. Here's face up to bat. To watch that for a strike. Charging now his face. Puts this one down deep into right field. Link will get there. Is it a sack fly? It is not. Peach called out at home. Slides in just seconds too late. Not seconds, rather. Part of a second too late. Very rare that you see them successfully stop someone at home like that, but Link in the outfield with that quick throw able to get it done. Spectra will swing and miss here. It's one strike. Bottom of the fifth now. Eggs need to start something big. 
Here's a slap. Inkling will dive and catch that. Not what you're looking for. Here now is Yoshi. He'll watch that for a strike. A lot of watching in this game. Feeling out each other's pitchers. That one goes straight to Bones. That'll be another out. Here's Link up to bat now. Just made a great defensive play. Can he get the offense flowing? He'll slap, and it's right to Inkling. That'll be three up and three out for the eggs. It's not looking good. You need a stop here. Here's King Boo. He'll charge early. Still put this one high and deep. Will they get there in time? They should. No, it's over Link's head. King Boo records his first home run of the season as Link just doesn't catch the ball. And it's 8-3 Monarchs. Here's Paratroopa into pitch. The Eggs gotta be feeling desperate to put in Paratroopa. That does ruin their outfield. No more chem on the left side there. Critter chooses not to dive for the ball. Interesting choice. They also don't try to throw Shy Guy out at first. Inkling watches that for a strike. Charge. Right to Critter. This should be a double play and is. Here's Berta looking to record a third home run for this game. On what's so far been the best offense in the, or defense in the league rather. But Yellow Match will stop that one. All right, Eggs need something to start now. It's, it's dangerous. They'll have another chance in the bottom of the seventh no matter what, but you want to make up some of that ground as early as possible. This should be a star pitch from Birdo, and is. Does not want Critter to be able to put this out. Got to do everything possible to stop that from happening. Here's another charge, though. This one is high and down the left sideline, but no. Yoshi quick enough to get there. Birdo still pitching. Is the starting pitcher still going in the sixth inning? Could potentially join the elite club of pitchers who have closed, started and closed an entire game this season. I believe it may only be Toadsworth. I could be wrong, though. Here's another star pitch. That's a strike on Paratroopa. He'll slap again. It's right to Shy Guy. Not looking great for the eggs. Again, you have to hold. You have to hold here in the top of the seventh. It's a five-run deficit now. Paratroopa hasn't been terrible on the mound, but needs to be better than not bad if they want to win this game. This one will go out to Koopa, who will snag that, putting his body on the line there for that play. Here's Flenzy. That's another strike. This this Monarchs team has been so patient as of late. Coach Greenlet really teaching them patience as this one could be gone. And it is. Flenzy ropes one. Koopa will not get there. It's a six-run deficit now for the Eggs. Monarchs continue to run away with this game against the number one team in the league. Peach now steps up to bat has been passable offensively and continues that trend with a base hit here. Here's Gray Drybones. Could put a two-run shot out here. Doesn't though. Instead, it's right over Spectro's head. Could have been caught, but is not. I believe to follow here, we may have... Yes, it's Face. All right, what does Face have cooking up? He does have a home run on the season as well, but this one will not join that list as that's a double play to escape the inning. Escaping's not enough, though. Your defense did a little bit, but the offense has to pick up the slack now. They've been a three-up, three-out for the past couple innings. Not a base hit to be spoken of now. Koopa looking to change that as he charges, watches that for a ball. Good eye there for Koopa. He'll charge again. Another ball, Peach throwing right around the outsides of the strike zone here. This one will be slapped, caught by Green Shy Guy, not a good start to the potential comeback. 
the bottom of the seventh rally. You need you need something to start. Could be here with Dark Bones. He'll watch that for a strike. Questionable watches. I mean, it's one thing to be disciplined. It's another to just watch easy pitches to hit. But Dark Bones will get on first there. Could be the start of something. But you need Magikoopa and Spectro to follow. Plus Yoshi after that. Could be asking too much. This one, though. We have two on base. It's not impossible. Spectro up to bat. You don't want to see a slap hit. Which could mean the end of the game. And here it is. He misses the jump, though. And that should bring Dark Bones home. And it will. All right. The start of the rally, potentially. Green guy had the chance to end the game right there. But you see, he jumped too early. Did not grab the ball. And Spectro with an RBI there. Yoshi, the captain, needs to get on base here. We'll swing, and that should end the game. A double play turn by Inkling. It's a five-point upset. Five-run upset, rather, as the Monarchs knock off the eggs in a shocker. The MVP, of course, has to be Birdo. There it is. Two home runs, a strikeout, and more to be spoken of for Birdo. What a game. On the other side of things, Critter did everything he could, but just couldn't carry the team alone.